all the things where we thought we find satisfaction, where we find that's it, like a relationship. We have to first see that in our own experience, all the things we put in place. The relationship is one thing. We could have many, many other things where we find, we think we have to get in pl place, right? And um, relationship is just a good example. Maybe for m most of us, not sure for everyone, but for most of us we think, okay, we want to get into this relationship, then everything will be better. Some might think I have to get out of this one. <laughs> I think it's better. <laughs> but then it's, then it's the next one. Or, or you are in one and think, hmm, over there, that would be much better. <laughs> then I just didn't have to deal with um, the things lying around the room and, and um, would just put the, what is the typical, the toothpaste top on it? <laughs> is that the typical example? You know, all these things that irritate us. If I would just not be irritated, then I would be better. It is the other person. But now, I, now actually, I wanted to uh, talk about the other way you want to getting into an, a relationship. So you see how the data, they are just so unpredictable. They are countless, ceaseless, and unpredictable. And if we don't know the fundamental nature of data, we are lost in the whole pool of description and, and just trying to rearrange so that we have better descriptions. You see, there's an end, that, that will be an endless task, or is an endless task. And we know how it is to run on the hamster wheel. That's like how it is, right? So you have to, that you look in your experience. <coughs> the invitation is look into your own experience and test it out like a scientist would do. So you, you examine it in that way. And um, like looking for a relationship, hoping that it's in there, there's something, then everything will be, will be good. It's like, like um, with a mirage, you know, like data are like a mirage. I actually never saw a real mirage, but we all know how it is something amazing and then usually probably a, a really, really just good glass of cold water probably. <laughs> That's what you want when you're in a desert. And then but probably even more elaborate, amazing, you really want it and then you go there, uh, it's not there and, and, and nothing there. And so that's like with data and with a relationship, for example. And I'm not saying that not to have a relationship. I'm also in a relationship, so that doesn't mean, but to really recognize where we, what, what, what we did to, to find ease, to find that satisfaction, to find freedom, to fi just wanting to, to feel better. And what we did to try to achieve that. And did we achieve it? And is there a long lasting relief? Is it there? So that's the questions I ask myself. And I, oh, I, I ne it, never, it never worked. So it was like a hamster wheel. That's a good way of seeing it. Just more and more next one. And so we all could relate to seeing, like once we're in a relationship, I'm just using that example of the relationship now. Once we're in the relationship, then it doesn't, st it, the positive data that anybody reach that to get the positive data always in place, it doesn't work. So then we're looking for another way of achieving that. And so that's the power here with open intelligence, to recognize open intelligence and find something about you that is completely stable. Everything you ever were looking for, right there, in opening intelligence, that power, immediate benefit complete life satisfaction and joy that doesn't depend on what the data are. And that's incredible. That freedom I was always looking for. I always thought I, I have to travel to just run away from all my data, basically, all the emotions and thoughts. But it, to recognize that, they, first of all, they travel with you. And then <laughs> when you are somewhere else and you have them all there. And then but to recognize opening intelligence. And I used just the four mainstays to empower that completely. I found 
couldn't even imagine that that's possible. Such a complete mental and emotional stability that I'm, I'm not afraid of myself anymore. And I'm also not afraid of other people. There's such an ease and an empowerment, using my intelligence, not in a disempowering way. Like, I can't do that. I'm sad, and I, if I get that depression, then, then it will be the end. And that's gaining confidence and opening intelligence. There might be certain things that are scary. And so the Four Mainstays support exactly that, to take it step by step and see that there's absolutely nothing. Even things we think that I can't, I can't take short moments there, and it will be really, really horrible. That we can use the Four Mainstays and see that we can allow even that to be as it is. And that, that, is so, that, that even those data that we really fear have great beneficial potency. To think about it, that, that will not work, but you can use the Four Mainstays and show up here and see in your experience how that happens. Just moment by moment you see, wow, there's more and more confidence. That's what the Four Mainstays lifestyle and environment does. It, it confirms that confidence in yourself, that you can be with anything no matter what. So life gets such a joy. For me, I can't believe how just at ease and joy life is, just by, by not being afraid anymore. And it includes making lists, it includes any, anything, it includes also entering into a relationship, but we know what, what we are, what a relationship is just, is there for being of benefit, not being there that the other person gives us what we are looking for. For me, that was an important insight. So the Four Mainstays lifestyle, it's like being on the top of the mountain. You know, you see everything clearly. You use an intelligence that is, com that is totally empowering, that is for the benefit of all. And see, that, that power is in you. You're not left out. And I had to realize that, oh, it's me as well. You know? And then gaining confidence and assurance 